Hi, it's Jed here, and this video is to demonstrate how I make the all-time classic British dish, shepherd's pie. It's a really straightforward recipe. It's hard to go wrong. So over the next four or five minutes or so, just follow what I do, and in no time, you're going to be eating this delicious meal. I will be adding uh, the recipe and all the details below, so no need to make notes. Just follow along with the video. So let's start by getting some onions, mushrooms and garlic, along with some olive oil, frying them all in a pan till they go nice and soft. Then we're going to take two to three pounds of ground beef, preferably stuff with low fat content, and fry it until it goes brown. Now that the onions and the mushrooms have started to go nice and soft, uh, it's a good time to add some salt and pepper uh, to, to your own taste. Then combine the browned meat uh, with the vegetables, uh, mixing them all together, and add um, most of the contents of a box of, but I use vegetable stock, or you could use beef stock. And you could add a little bit of garlic powder here if you like, just to add a little bit of extra depth of flavor. Let the combined meat and vegetables cook slowly over a low flame uh, for up to 90 minutes, uh, stirring occasionally. Mix some plain flour with some warm water till you make about half a cup of floury sauce. Then add it into the meat and vegetables and give it a nice stir to make the gravy. You can add any other uh, vegetables that you think you might enjoy. We just added a few chilies and some chili sauce that were left over uh, from a Thai meal that we had the night before. We just added a little bit just to add a hit of spice. We didn't want to add too much spice to it or else you start making chili con carne. Uh, but just this tiny bit gives a little bit of additional flavor, uh, which is totally optional. So some, some flavor. Don't forget important in the, in the ingredient. What you were recommended to put there? Love. Love. Love, love, love. Da -da 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 Enough. Once you've finished adding the love, transfer the mixture to a baking dish. Be sure to leave about one inch or two centimeters from the top. Boil and mash five to six large potatoes and mash the potatoes with some milk and some butter. After you've let the meat cool down for about 30 minutes or so, transfer the mashed potato to the top of the meat mixture. Flatten the mashed potato out using the back of a fork so that it lies flat with the top of the dish, making some nice grooves as you go along. At this point, you could add some grated cheese to the top of the potato, or in this case, we mixed up some egg with some sour cream to make a lip liquid topping, which we then brushed on top of the potato. Put the dish under the grill or broiler until it goes nice and brown on top. Wow. Here we have a happy Englishman with his shepherd's pie looking not too bad. And now it's time for that all important taste test just to see if it's all come together in a good way. Hi, the shepherd's pie. Why, Mark Wynn? Mark Wynn. Mark Wynn style. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> It's more milky, it's more creamy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's a dish that's even better on day two after it's sat in the fridge overnight. It should go nice and firm and look like this, ready to serve. Next day, we added some additional grilled melted cheese on top uh, and served it alongside some salad. Mm. 